Looking for simple ideas to manage your life and business? You're in the right place. Here you'll find realistic tips and ideas to tame your task list in easy ways. I'm your host, Amy Michaels. Let's get started together with today's episode of the Tame Your Task List podcast. Hi friend, how do you feel about surprises? Some of us really like them and some of us would prefer to have a heads up if there's something unexpected coming. But sometimes surprises can bring an unexpected result. And one of those is going to be coming your way in just a minute. So stay tuned to the end of the podcast. Today, I want to talk to you about two different things that were surprising to me that happened and they had very different results. The first surprise that happened to me recently was because I was going to get a curbside pickup order. And of course, as soon as I pulled into the spot and checked in online, my husband told me, oh, I forgot to get one thing that was in the garden center. Let me run over there really quickly and I'll just meet you back here after you get your order. No problem. So as I'm sitting there, the kids and I are watching people come out and we see two gentlemen. One of them has a vest on and a badge. So I know that he's an employee, but he doesn't have anything in his hands and he's not coming to my vehicle. There's another gentleman that's dressed in plain clothes. He does have a bag, but he kind of heads off to the side. I had opened my back glass so that I could make it easier on whoever was delivering my order. And you can imagine my surprise when all of a sudden I heard someone rattling plastic at the back of my car and the kids and I all just jumped. And he said, y'all have a great day. And of course, we were all just trying so hard not to start laughing. We were like, sure. um, Yeah, yeah, you too. And I start thinking, did I miss something? I mean, like, did I miss a badge or a vest or something? So I'm leaning to kind of look at this guy. And apparently he could feel me looking at him because he turns around and kind of waves at me like, hey, lady, what are you doing? And of course, I waved back and I was so embarrassed. Oh, and so we all started laughing. We were in tears. And then, of course, when my husband got back in the car, we told him the whole story and we all were laughing all over again. Sometimes surprises are unexpected, but they make us laugh. And those are my favorite kind. But then sometimes surprises happen and they bring about a change that you weren't expecting, but that was even better than what you had before. That happened to me recently as well. I was feeling the drain of keeping up on social media. And I just decided that I felt like I was on a hamster wheel and I just wanted off of it. I decided to pause it. And it really surprised me when I did because one of my favorite business teachers actually teaches how to grow an audience on social media. And I've learned so much from her. However, I knew I needed to do this for my own self-care. And wouldn't you know that when I finally just gave myself permission to pause posting on social media... I suddenly had more energy, more brain power to actually invest back into my business. And my teacher's methods and strategies can be perfectly applied to my content that I create for my clients, to my email newsletters, which if you're not getting, by the way, make sure you sign up below. And this podcast, my focus has actually increased. I've been able to level up my support that I offer my clients, and I actually look forward to working on my business tasks now. If you're wondering how a busy homeschooling mom does that, then that is what I'm going to give to you. I actually use a very simple time management system called Tame Your Task List, and it is a really great tool that you can use for your personal life, for your work life, for your homeschooling, pretty much any task list that you have. This is a system that you can apply, and here's the coolest part. One, I'm gifting it to you, so it's not going to cost you anything. Two, You can actually watch the entire mini course in 15 minutes. And if you just take each of the three videos and work on it for five to 10 minutes each, your task list will be forever tamed because you can use this system again and again and again in every single application that you can think of that you might have a list of things to do. It really has saved my sanity. It's increased my focus. Now, going back to what I said about taking a break from social media, this course is actually hosted on my website, so it's not part of a Facebook group that's going to be sending you notifications. This is just a quiet little place over on my site so that you can focus on watching the next step, implementing it, and moving on. However, if you would really like to have even more fun, then grab a friend as your accountability partner. That way you can both go through it together 
and cheer each other on. Accountability is one of the most responsible actions that you can take to make sure that you do the things that you want to do. So grab a buddy and join in. I'll be cheering you on in the comments as well. There's a place for you to comment below each video and I will be checking in there and answering any questions you have, giving you some encouragement. And there's some hidden little surprises in there for you to engage with us as well. That's my surprise for you. I'm gifting you the Tame Your Task List simple time management tool so that you can find that focus and find more fun in your days. I hope that you enjoy it and it is just as much of a game changer as you want it to be in your life. Until next time, I'm cheering you on and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks so much for joining us for this episode of the Tame Your Task List podcast. We'd love to encourage you even more to focus your time and energy on what matters most to you in life and business. Connect with us over at TameYourTaskList.com for insights we only share with our email subscribers. We'll see you there.